in this video we are going to discuss about general properties of algebraic system first let's see what is algebraic system an algebraic system contains a non empty set here this s is nothing but a non empty set that means the set must contain some elements and we can perform a collection of operations on the set so we can perform some plus we can perform multiplication several operations on the set so this is called as algebraic system so mainly we perform two types of operations the first one is unary operation the second one is binary operations so we know unary operation unary operation means performing operation on only one operand Uh, we have two types of uh, uh, unary operators are there unary plus and unary minus various binary operations means plus minus star multiplication all those are binary operators so binary means performing operation on two operands a plus b here plus is called as binary operation next minus a here a is called as uh, here this minus is called as unary minus why because here we are performing operation on a single a single operand so a minus b means here we are performing operations on two operands so that's why this minus is called as binary minus this minus is called as unary minus so this is about what is algebraic system algebraic system contains a non empty set uh, and we can perform various operations on the non empty set okay like we can perform addition subtraction multiplication division we can perform several binary operations mainly we perform binary operations now let us see the general properties of the algebraic system totally eight properties are there let us discuss all the eight properties one by one the first property is uh, uh, let before that let we have a algebraic system uh, let here the set name is yes and uh, let we can perform two operations on the set those binary operations are plus and star the first operation is uh, uh, the first property of the algebraic system is uh, closure property so first let's see what is closure property closure property means we have to take two elements from the set uh, first let us note down the definition for any two elements for any two elements a comma b belongs to here what is the name of the set yes a comma b belongs to yes then closure property means a plus b belongs to yes here we have taken plus and star so that's why let us perform both operations and if a star b is belongs to yes then we can say that it is it satisfies closure property let we have a set which contain uh, several elements uh, from 0 to infinity 0 1 2 so on likewise we have uh, up to infinity let this is our set so what is closure property we have to take any two elements from the set let us take one and two from the set one and two from the set let let us see an example let us take one and two from the set then if one plus two is also belongs to the set as well as one star 2 also belongs to the set then we can say that it satisfies the closure property so what a plus b belongs to yes so 1 plus 2 belongs to yes what is the result of 1 plus 2 3 so 3 belongs to set 3 is present in the set as well as uh, 1 star 2 belongs to yes what is the result of 1 into 2 2 so 1 into 2 means 2 so 2 is also present in the set so we can say that it satisfies closure property okay so this is about what is closure property what is closure property uh, if a plus b belongs to s and a star b belongs to s then we can say that uh, it satisfies closure property now let us see the second property the second property is associative property associative property associative property uh, associative property means we have to take three elements from the set so for any three elements for any three elements we have to take three elements from the set a comma b comma 
C belongs to S. Then associative. Here the second symbol is S. S means same symbol. Then A plus B same symbol plus. So here also we have plus. Here also we have plus. A plus B plus C is equal to A plus within the parenthesis right B plus C. And second operation is star operation. Why? Because here the algebraic system contain star also. A star B star C is equal to A star B star C. So if it satisfies, if the algebraic system satisfies these two properties, then we can say that it satisfies the associative property. Let us take three elements from the set. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 is belonging to S. So A is 1, B is 2, C is 3. Let us apply the first formula. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to. What is the second formula? 1 plus 2 plus 3. So what is the result of 1 plus 2? 3. 3 plus 3 is equal to. 1 plus. What is the result of 2 plus 3? 5. 3 plus 3 means 6. 6 is equal to 1 plus 5 means 6. 6 is equal to 6. So we can say that it satisfies associative property. Likewise, in place of plus, let us perform star operation. Star operation. So 1 into 2 into 3. 2 into 3. So what is the result of 1 into 2? 2. So 2 into 3 is equal to 1 into. What is the result of 2 into 3? Uh, 2 into 3. 6. So 2 into 3 means 6. 6 is equal to 6. So here the second formula is also satisfied. So we can say that it satisfies associative property. Okay. Now let us see the third property. So first property is closure property. Second property is associative property. Third property is commutative property. Third property is commutative property. Commutative property. Commutative property means we have to take two elements from the set. So for any, for any two elements, we have to take any two elements from the set. A comma B belongs to S. Then if A plus B is equal to B plus A, then we can say that it satisfies commutative property. And here we have star also. If A star B is equal to B star A, then we can say that it satisfies commutative property. Let us take two elements from the set. 1 comma 2 belongs to S. So what is the first example? A plus B is equal to B plus A. 1 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 1. What is the result of 1 plus 2? 3. 3 is equal to 3. It satisfies commutative property. Next, 1 into 2 is equal to 2 into 1. 1 into 2 means 2. 2 is, e 2 is equal to 1 means 2. So 2 is equal to 2. So here also same. So we can say that it satisfies commutative property. Okay. Now let us see the next two properties. The next two properties starts with I. Fourth one is identity element. And the fifth one is inverse element. What is the fourth one? Identity element. Let us see about identity element. So here also we have to take two elements from the set. For any two elements, for any two elements, A comma E belongs to S. Here what is the second element E? E is called as identity element. Okay. Then, then, if A plus E is equal to E plus A is equal to E, then we can say that identity element is satisfied. Or A star E is equal to E star A is equal to, I am sorry, here we have A. A plus E is equal to E plus A is equal to A. A star E is equal to E star A is equal to A. Then we can say that identity element is satisfied. Here, for addition operation, the identity element is zero. Whereas for multiplication operation, the identity element is one. So these two are very, very important points. So zero is identity element with respect to plus. One is identity element with respect to the star. Now let us see an example. Let A is equal to one. Let A is equal to one. Let us apply the first formula. One plus. We know here we are performing addition. For addition, what is the identity element? Zero. So 1 plus 0 is equal to, for addition, what is identity element? 0 plus, what is A value? Here we have taken A as 1 here. So 0 plus 1 is equal to, what is A? What is A? Here what is A? We have taken 1. So what is the result of 1 plus 0? 1. What is the result of 0 plus 1? 1. 
we got the result as one only that is a value so identity element is satisfied now let us let us in place of uh, uh, a let us consider 2 let a is equal to 2 then we can write as 2 into what is identity element with respect to star 1 so 2 into 1 is equal to e is 1 1 into 2 is equal to what is a value we have taken a as 2 so 2 into 1 means 2 so 2 is equal to 2 is equal to 2 so we can say that identity element is satisfied so this is about identity element the next property also starts with i that is inverse element so the fifth property is inverse element inverse element fourth one identity element identity and inverse are let us take them as elements remaining six as properties okay inverse element if we have a element called a and a belongs to s then we have an inverse of a that is denoted by a inverse or we can take b uh, c uh, we can take any other letter also here we have taken an element called a a belongs to s and there exists an inverse of the element let it be a inverse a inverse is also belongs to s then here the formula is a plus a inverse is equal to a inverse plus a is equal to e this is the formula okay first let us see the, uh, with the help of an example let a is equal to let a is equal to 5 so 5 belongs to s 5 is present in the set so 5 plus the inverse of 5 with respect to the plus is minus 5 what is the inverse of 5 the inverse of 5 is minus 5 if you take minus 3 the inverse of minus 3 is 3 if you take minus 31 the inverse of minus 31 is 31 simply we have to negate that value okay so 5 plus what is the inverse of minus what is the a inverse now a is 5 so a inverse is minus 5 so what is a inverse minus 5 plus 5 that is equal to what is the identity element with respect to plus the identity element with respect to plus is 0 so what is the result of 5 minus 5 0 0 is equal to minus 5 plus 5 means 0 is equal to 0 this is about plus operation now let us see one more uh, formula a star a inverse is equal to a inverse into a is equal to e let us take a as some 3 let us take a as 3 okay let us let us see the first formula a into a inverse is equal to uh, e what is a here a belongs to the set 3 3 into now we have to calculate a inverse 3 into a inverse is equal to what is identity element e with respect to the multiplication 1 1 so 3 into a inverse is equal to 1 so now a inverse is equal to what is the value 1 by 3 a inverse is equal to 1 by 3 now we have to substitute a inverse in this formula so in this formula what is a value 3 into what is a inverse 1 by 3 is equal to what is a inverse 1 by 3 into what is a 3 and what is the identity element with respect to the multiplication 1 so 3 3 cancelled 1 3 3 cancelled 1 so 1 is equal to 1 is equal to 1 so we can say that inverse property is satisfied inverse element is satisfied so 5 properties are over let us see the remaining 3 so the next property is distributive property distributive property so sixth one distributive property distributive property for identity and inverse use element identity element inverse element whereas for the remaining six use property closure property associative property commutative property distributive property likewise distributive distributive property means we have to take three elements for any three elements for any three elements a comma b comma c belongs to s here this d means different so different means different means let here we have plus symbol then in the parenthesis we have to use star so the result is a plus b star a plus c and the second formula is a star different symbol so if we have star here then within the parenthesis we should have plus so is equal to a star b plus a star c 
so let uh, let a b c r 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 belongs to s 1 2 3 belongs to s so let us substitute uh, in the equation so 1 plus 2 into 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 3 1 plus 2 into 3 means 6 1 plus 6 means 7 is equal to 1 plus 2 means what 3 into 1 plus what is a value a value is 1 b value is 2 c value is 3 so 1 plus 2 into 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 a plus b star c is equal to a plus b into a plus b into a plus c so 1 plus 2 into 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 means 3 into 1 plus 3 means 4 okay now let us uh, So, what is 1 plus 6? 7 and 3, 3 into 4, 12. So, in this 7 not equal to 12. So, in this situation we can say that this is not distributive. Let us apply the second formula A star. So, 1 star B plus C means 2 plus 3 is equal to A star B. 1 into 2 plus A star C. 1 into 3. So, 1 into 2 plus 3 means 5. 5 is equal to 1 into 2 means 2 plus 1 into 3 means 3. So, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So, we will get distributive only when, apply the, when we apply this formula. When we apply the second formula. If we apply the first formula, then we do not get uh, that uh, distributive property. Okay. Uh, let us see the next property. That is uh, seventh property, cancellation property. Cancellation property. So, we have to take care uh, when we are working with distributive property. Cancellation property. For cancellation property, we have to take three elements from the set. They are uh, uh, ABC. ABC belongs to S. And A not equal to 0. A must be not equal to 0. Then, if A is equal to B and A is equal to C, uh, let us take multiplication. If A star B is equal to A star C, then we can conclude that B is equal to C. Uh, let us, uh, so here let us cancel this A, this A. So then we can say that B is equal to C. Likewise, if B star A is equal to C star A, then we can conclude that B is equal to C. So this property is called as cancellation property. And the last property is uh, uh, idempotent property. Idempotent property. So, idempotent property is very, very simple. We have to take only one element from the set. If uh, a plus a is equal to a or a star a is equal to a, then we can say that it is, it satisfies idempotent property. So, these are the eight important properties of uh, algebraic system.